see how it's going. So here we go. I got load test going on, checking the quality of the uh, generator, the inverter, and the APC battery backups with a load on there. Let's take a look at the signals. That is one good looking waveform. All right, check this out. I'm gonna turn the fan off. Okay, fan is off. Fan is on. Off. On. Pretty cool, huh? That how to generator rocks. All right, let's take a look at the uh, load test on this modified sine wave inverter. And I've got it hooked up to the oscilloscope, and this is what it's outputting right here. And I don't have the 65 watt lamp hooked into it. So let's put the 65 watt incandescent light bulb in and see what happens to this waveform right here. Watch, watch this right here. too bad. All right, you ready for this? I got a 65 watt incandescent floodlight hooked up as a load on this APC Schneider Backups 550. Also have the True RMS digital multimeter hooked up to it and it's reading 119 volts coming off of my inverter, okay, which shows a nice pure sine wave. Now, let's simulate a power outage and show you what the waveform looks like coming off this. There you go. The meter reads 112 volts. And the scope waveform looks like that. And that's with the 65 watt load on there. Fascinating, huh? All right, let's plug it back in and see what happens. See that? Pretty cool, huh? So I don't know what's coming out of that. I'll be honest with you, you tell me. All right, so there you have it. First we looked at the Honda, and of course that waveform looked absolutely stunning. Then we looked at the uh, modified sine wave inverter, and of course that had a square wave output on there. And I think that's probably correct for that inverter. And then we looked at the, uh, the uh, battery backups, and. I still do not know what is the deal with that thing, so if you know, let me know. But uh, there you have it. There's a load test with uh, the oscilloscope showing you the quality and cleanliness of the waveforms. So take care. We'll see you next time.